What's up, everybody? I'm John from Pause TV, also known here on YouTube as the Nintendo Beast. Today, I'm breaking down my top five favorite announcements from the, I'll call it the main stage event, I guess, the main stage showcase at Summer Game Fest 2022. Now, I'll be honest, my initial list uh, was like, double the size of this. I almost did a top 10 video, but I figured at that point, you might as well just watch the entire press conference, which, you know, with all things considered, I do recommend it because again, these are just my top five uh, announcements made. Um, you might have different taste, and I highly recommend you checking out Summer Game Fest 2022 uh, for all of the awesome games that were announced, both the AAA titles and the indie titles. There are so many great games on the horizon. Uh, it makes me, as a gamer, very, very excited, but there can be only five for my top five announcement list, so let's get into it. Number five, the new trailer for Gotham Knights. <laughs> nothing and then this city became my home its people became my family gotham gave me everything it deserves to feel safe we try there's always more to do and now it's up to me I got this Bruce Number four, the new trailer for Midnight Suns. This world has no hope under your watch. Parker Luck. I'm gonna need some backup.
work. That used to always work. Well, it did that one time. I am an absolutely huge Venom fan uh, and symbiote fan from Marvel Comics, so I love Venom, Carnage, Toxin, uh, so it was obvious that was going to make my list at some point. Number three, the debut trailer for Layers of Fears. Someone once said insanity runs in our family. Let it run. Now, while I haven't played the Blair Witch game they produced, I have played The Medium, uh, which is a phenomenal horror game uh, from Bloober Team, and this is the next in line from Bloober Team, so I'm super stoked to get my hands on Layers of Fears. Number two, and this one might be controversial, but as a huge Aliens fan, I have to say number two is the debut trailer from Aliens Dark Descent. Sergeant Leo Alvarez of the CM Leth Recon Squad. Our mission was to enter the Tantalus base, locate the ComSat relay, and bring it back online. We found the relay, but there was a problem. Get that door closed now, Private. Close that door. Close that door. Nothing gets in here. Ray didn't make it. At least it's a one piece. Willis, take the lead. Oh, this ain't good. What we found was a new kind of evil, and it found us first. What the? This was human. I don't know what I saw in there. 
But I know when I close my eyes, I still see it. Now everyone's dead. And someone needs to know. I'll be honest, I can't remember the last time there was a critically acclaimed anything in the Aliens franchise, whether it be a video game or a movie. I can't remember, but I've always loved them. Uh, it's just a personal preference for me, and uh, I can't wait to get my hands on Aliens Dark Descent. Now, I know this is just, you know, a CG trailer, just a cinematic trailer, but uh, I'm hoping that the gameplay matches uh, how exciting and how great the CG trailer looks. And number one is kind of a two for one. It's new gameplay footage. Not not from one game, but from two different games. And I couldn't I couldn't bring myself to choose which one I was more excited about. And also, I didn't want to take up two separate spots. So this is consider this one A and one B. One A, the new gameplay from the Callisto Protocol. <laughs> Take a look outside. Did you know that they call Callisto the Dead Moon? Dead. Just like you would have been if I hadn't fished you out of that wreck. So whatever you're holding on to right there, that's your old life. You gotta let that go. Because your new life is entirely in my hands. I'm just trying to give you a chance at rebirth. that last part. Gives me chills every time. Now, the Callisto Protocol trailer uh, first made its debut on the PlayStation State of Play event a little bit earlier this month, and it was very, very exciting. It has some major Dead Space vibes. I believe it is actually developed by some of the members of the Dead Space development team, so that's very, very exciting. As a huge Dead Space trilogy fan, uh, I can't wait for... I know they're making a remake of, I believe, the original Dead Space game as we speak, um, but this game, it's it's not quite a Dead Space game. It's not quite a spin-off. It is a, a different development team and a different studio, uh, but it definitely has those awesome space horror Dead Space vibes, and uh, I can't wait to get my hands on it. And the animations, the brutality, and the gore that was showcased 
Uh, not so much at the PlayStation State of Play Showcase, but more so here at the Summer Game Fest is absolutely awesome. I know they had an extended cut of the trailer that originally debuted at State of Play. They had an extended cut with amped up gore. Uh, for this the summer game fest, which was very cool to see I'm a bit of a, uh, a horror buff myself and a slasher buff So more gore is uh, is always welcome in my boat the gameplay also looked absolutely grisly There are gonna be a lot of different ways that you can die a lot of grisly ways that you can die a lot of grisly ways You can kill uh, your enemies. It's gonna be an absolute bloodbath, and I'm here for it I can't wait So with that said, the 1A slot goes to the Callisto Protocol with its extended trailer and its gameplay reveal. And speaking of new gameplay, slot 1B goes to the new gameplay for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Eyes in the red. Alright, that's our target. Shadows 1 and 2. So I think it kind of goes without saying that the Modern Warfare franchise is, if not the most popular, one of the most popular Call of Duty franchises uh, to date. And uh, the remake back in 2019 of the original Modern Warfare game, it wasn't really a remake, it wasn't really a sequel, it wasn't really a remaster, it was kind of an entirely new thing. It was a, it was a new story with, uh, I believe, a couple of familiar faces, if I recall correctly, but uh, it wasn't... It was a standalone game. It was a standalone experience, and quite frankly, looking at the other games that released in the Call of Duty franchise as of late, we're talking Black Ops Cold War, uh, Vanguard, they weren't great. Modern Warfare 2019, I think, stands as probably the best of the most recent Call of Duty games. Now, Infinity Ward is back at the helms for a sequel. I guess it's a sequel to the 2019 Modern Warfare game? I'm not totally sure. But again, seems like new story, new missions, some familiar looking places, and certainly some familiar looking faces uh, from the original Modern Warfare 2 game from I believe, what was it, 2009? When Modern Warfare 2 came out, 2008, 2009, somewhere back there. Call of Duty has always been known for really awesome, high energy, uh, exciting trailers that really get your heart pumping and really make you want to play their games. It's always been that way. So I think when the first trailer dropped just a couple of days prior to Summer Game Fest, I think a lot of people were lukewarm. Let's have ourselves a gunfight. I was one of them. It definitely looked like a beautiful game, but, you know, Call of Duty games have looked beautiful before, and then they come out to be a total crapshoot. I think premiering the first gameplay just a few days after the trailer launched worldwide uh, at Summer Game Fest was a really, really good idea for Infinity Ward, and uh, I think I think it won some people over. It definitely won me over. Looking at how beautiful the actual gameplay is, uh, and just the, the the dynamic world that you're playing in, uh, how it how cover is constantly shifting depending on your surroundings, like the uh, the shipping crates shift from one side to the other, and you have to kind of make sure you don't get caught between them or and get crushed, or make sure you're still behind cover when, you know, the boat starts to sway and, and the shipping crates start to shift. And then also, 
you have your enemies that are going in and out of cover, and that plays a part in your combat. I think all of that kind of weighs in, and I think overall, this game looks really, really well polished. It looks really, really beautiful, and I think, uh... If it's anything like Modern Warfare 2019, I genuinely believe this is going to be um, an entirely new Call of Duty experience. But those were my top five favorite announcements from Summer Game Fest. Technically, it's like top six, but, you know, I'll call them top five with those 1A and one a and 1B slots there. Uh, but with that said, leave me a comment in the comment section below. What does your top five game list look like from Summer Game Fest this year? Of course, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to Pause TV right here on YouTube and ring that bell for notifications for when I do live streams here on the channel and when I upload new video content such as this. New videos post to the channel every single weekday, Monday through Friday of every single week. Once you're subscribed, of course, keep it locked into Pause TV as I cover not only the main stage showcase of Summer Game Fest, but also the Upload VR showcase, as well as the Day of the Devs Indie Showcase. Smash the like button on this video and leave me a comment in the comment section below like I said before. But until next time, I'm John from Pause TV, also known here on YouTube as the Nintendo Beast. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching this Pause TV video. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel here on YouTube and ring that bell for notifications for when I go live here on the channel and when I upload new video content such as this. I upload new videos to the channel every single weekday, Monday through Friday of every single week, so you definitely want to be subscribed. If you didn't already, make sure to smash the like button on this video and leave me a comment in the comment section below. This and every video uploaded to the Pause TV YouTube channel is in order to raise awareness and funds for cystic fibrosis research. So if you want to learn more about the project, jump on over to our official website at pause.tv. That is P-O-Z-Z dot TV. But until next time, I am John from Pause TV, also known here on YouTube as the Nintendo Beast. Thank you so much for watching.